With claims of alleged paranormal activity, Spiral travelled to Sussex to explore the priest house. Although a modern name, the priest house sits in the picturesque village of Weth Holdley, on the western edge of the Ashdown Forest. Built in the early 15th century, it was originally a timber-framed hall house for the Priory of St Pancras in Lewis. Central chimneys and a stone roof were added in Elizabethan times to create a yeoman's farmer's house and became a residence for many years. Although in a sad state of repair by the beginning of the 20th century, it was purchased in 1906 by John Godwin King, along with other properties in the West Holdley area, and renovated the house to its former glory. In 1908, King opened the Priest House as a museum, and in 1935, he presented it to the Sussex Archaeology Society, who manages the property to this day. The Priest House contains a very collection of country furniture, ironwork, embroidery, and assorted domestic appliances displayed in furnished rooms. Aside from its historical heritage, the priest house has allegedly much paranormal activity within its ancient walls, and the Spiral team were keen to uncover this for ourselves. Prior to the night of the investigation, medium Alan Barnett, Rosanna Collins and I visited the priest house for initial recce of the property. Me personally, when I was downstairs in the kitchen when all of you were talking, it felt as though there was a woman hustling, bustling, getting things ready, day-to-day -day life. Um, in the area downstairs, it was more family orientated. But all, at the moment, all I could feel was the woman in the kitchen area. Very much the same because <clears throat> I pick up a woman <clears throat> I didn't pick up anything in the kitchen because I was busy chatting to the guy. Like I said, I have to really just move away from that and, and just open myself up to start to feel work. But since I walked through from that first area to the second area, I got a woman hustling and bustling around wearing one of these white head pieces, you know, sort of um, from, from the uh, late 17th century, that sort of period. But she's going on about her work. She's running around everywhere, picking things up, and just, it's like every day. It's like nothing's changed. She's still doing the same things. Mm. Same things she was doing then. She's not very old. No. No, I didn't know. Yeah. She's, um... But it's difficult to distinguish because, because we were saying... Because it's hard to judge her age. When yeah. you're a 12-year-old, you used to be an adult. Well, they were you know, married. But, yeah, in you know, that day and, and age, so... It's it is very difficult. She was she was a young she was a young woman. I, if I'd looked at her nowadays, looking at one scene, I would say she was probably in her twenties <clears> or something. But she could very well be younger than that because they're so deceptive. It's quite quite strong. Mm. Uh, Residual. Or no, spirit? I think that she's around. She's sort of flitting around backwards and forwards and. And uh, and I have to say as well, since I've moved up here and stood here for a while. I do pick up a child, um, a little girl. Yeah, I, I, I feel very much there's a family that's that's in here, and I, I, to me, the, the lady's not a maid as such. She is just here doing her day-to-day -day business, which could be. Yeah, she's not. She's, not, no, she's no. not. she's not a maid. She's not. She lived here. She's yeah. just doing her family. This was her home. She's doing her normal routine and chores. Mm. But there, there's there's a little girl up here as well. Here we are at the priest house. It's uh, Wednesday. We're doing an, in um, an investigation here in a couple of weeks' time. We thought we'd come here and do a recce with uh, Alan and Rosanna. Very interesting place. Absolutely beautiful. Owned by a Sussex Pass, where we've done Anna Police House recently and Mitchell and Priory about four times. If we pick up some paranormal activity, if we don't, but we rarely do anyway. So next time you see us, will be on um, 
the investigation with the all the spiral team. The team arrived for the investigation, consisting of Mandy, Annalisa, Rosie, Patricia, Duncan, Nikki, Medium, Alan Barnett, and myself. I think she just said that you know she looks older, but I've just been told she's six. Yeah, and last mm. last Wednesday when we were here. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And I said, she, uh, she's to me, feels she's about six. Yeah, and you, you said, said no, young. she's older. No, I said, she looks older. She's yeah. older than that. Yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah. But I've just got her again, and she's got, she's got, she's got little curls in her hair. She's got curls in her hair. Yeah. And, and, oh, come on, what did I just get for date? It was, I thought she was a bit later, but actually I just got late 17th century, early 18th century. Moving in to the 1600s with her, but yeah, yeah, the curls and the curls. curls, ringlets, yeah, the word ringlets. That's exactly what ringlets. I described it last ringlets. week, yeah. Because mm. you said you couldn't see her as such then, you could just yeah, no, no, presence. no, yeah, I got presence, yeah, and I said, no, that's just quite clear up mm. there, then. Um, oh, good work, sorry. good brew, oh, little beeswax candles. She's very excited and it's like when we went up Wednesday and we come back and stood down there me and Rosanna were just standing down there and, uh, and then suddenly it was, she came down the stairs and she was standing at the bottom of the stairs and it's like she's following us she's excited about us being here and she's around us and she's she's moving around she's following us around so um, I hope that she will actually supply us with some physical uh, you know tapping or things I don't know if she will or not, um, but she's she's around. She's very active, okay. and she's very excited and very happy. It's very beautiful. Pretty, very pretty when we walked up towards the building. It's gorgeous, and the doors all original, and the smell. I love the smell. That musty smell. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just setting up the USB preamp, and then we're just going to crank it up and see what we get. Signal coming in. Uh, here we are at the Priest House. It's uh, Saturday. We were here a couple of weeks ago doing uh, recce. Um, we've got the spiral team here. We've already got a young girl running about. We'll see if we can sort of coax some activity out of her. But like all these things, we're not going to make predictions. We'll see what happens. If we get nothing, we'll show nothing. I'm enjoying myself very much. Let's get this party started. Let's do it, I think so. Let's get this party started. Hello, mate. And. Yeah, look, creaks. Yeah, well, no, it's like, a, it's, a, it's like a... Yeah, like somebody was... Yeah. Earlier on, just a few minutes ago. It sounded like somebody was walking around upstairs, yeah. didn't it? I think Mark said it might be the man. <laughs> You'll get the clock, definitely, but that... I mean, you'll definitely definitely audible, but you'd be able to recognise that as the clock, easily. We start the night's vigils in the upstairs bedroom, with Alan clarifying more information about the young girl. I was wrong to say... 17th, 18th century. I think it's late 1700s, early 1800s rather than century. And Niana and I think Anne is the name, and she was named after her mother or somebody, Anna. And that's what I've actually been getting sitting there, you know. Quite strongly, it's just kept coming back and back at me. Black. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I'm the ghost of you the know, lady in black. Of course. I bet she looks white in night vision. It's oh, right, I'm all in white with blonde yeah. hair. Yeah. <laughs> I bet she's got black hair. She's got black no, hair. She's blonde, black. actually. And who's blonde now? Uh, yeah. Mandy is, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> actually, Mandy, yeah. that is freaky. I know, we're looking at this. I'll sit there and sit. See Clapham Woods anywhere, but not near that door. Oh, yeah, Clapham Woods, that was there. Okay. And can you tap on the wall? What's that noise? Can you hear a really faint tapping? Mm. Over here. Mm. Oh, what the hell was that? that? I heard that twice. What the hell was that? I sent you like a sigh yeah. came from there. Like, like, a, a, like a groan? A, yeah. yeah. And that's the second time I heard okay. it. Okay, let's just see if we can get that going again. If that was you, could you do that again, please? I 
I said a minute ago that I heard yeah. sound like that was a ground. That was exactly the same sound mm, that's again. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. From that corridor. Yeah. And it came from over there, out there. Yeah. And I just groan, come and say hello. Something was went past me, but it was a it's more of a shadow than a reflect. Oh. Yeah, no, no. I can't no. explain it really. Right. There might be something on there later. Yeah. The impression is it's over there. That's when why I walked off a minute ago to try and get the impression of where she actually was, where she. Well, down the stairway, around the corridor. No, no, up here, but up you that end, make... somewhere up that end, yeah. Do you want to move into the next Actually, room? I don't or... feel it's just the next bedroom. I feel that, that wasn't split at this time. Mm. It was a larger room. <clears throat> I actually am getting an impression of a woman coming in around us as well now. Oh, okay. <laughs> but didn't you get like, a woman once before though? When you yeah, were, yeah, when we were here before, got a woman downstairs, yeah. She was yeah. the strongest. <coughs> um, she was, yeah. That could be the mother's name. Could be, yeah. Or the, this lady's name, whoever mm. she is. Mm. Stop talking to my well, daughter. actually, I, I really feel they are linked and, and I feel, like I say, that Anne was named after Anna, you know? It's actually not the same name. I think her mother was more Anna, and she was named Anne after her mother. So <laughs> yeah, there's been a few. There's been a couple that's walked past the bed, and there's been one up in that corner. Oh, it's just done it again. Up in the corner. Well, like I said, I feel that a woman's coming as well now, yeah. so I think we'll be dealing with more than one now. There's the couple of them. It's quite disorienting. Forget this. And, and this is as if this is our area, somewhere here between the two rooms. Right. Or well, this is where. We move to the adjacent room, hoping more information will come through. But it doesn't open. Not so much. Yet. Tell me. Show us, do something, please. Respond to us. If you want us to stay around with you and keep you company for a while, then let us know, otherwise we won't. So if you can make some sort of physical sound, a groan, anything, please do it, or else tap. It's just here. You know when like, like, a, a little girl swings? their skirt round mm -hmm. and it catches like the wall you know they're just standing by the wall it sounds like she's standing there doing that I can just hear this swish but it's like material catching right but it's just there which you can put in um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the mic up on the stairs and um, everyone's going to go upstairs and see if they can uh, draw a um, little girl that they're I believe they've been hearing. Make a sound, something we can hear, a sigh. Do you want us to stay here, communicate with you? Um, no, not, this, not in the same. Was it on your right side? Yeah. yeah. Just now it was like literally right at the back, but earlier it was on the right on the side. Right. I was just saying to Annalisa, I feel sort of a bit uneasy. I can't explain it any more than that. I just don't feel very comfortable now. I've got like that. When I came in here, it was quite friendly, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, flashy, uh, flash, flash. Flash, flash. Just by, you know, by the, the stairs sort of entrance coming into this room. Flash, flash. I know there's something in front of me somewhere here. Something close. You start the timeline at zero, and it's supposed to play the timeline. It's supposed to be seconds, and it just seemed to jump ten seconds a minute ago. It seems, and now it doesn't. As soon as you put the camera on, it didn't do it. Could be it. That was just really weird. We carried on investigating into the early hours with Alan undertaking a lone vigil in the upper bedroom and the team holding a last vigil downstairs in the parlour. Although very little activity presented itself during our time here, it was still a privilege to explore this slice of British history. 
along with other Sussex past properties we've investigated over the years, such as Mitchell and Priory and Anne of Cleves House, the Priest House is a stunning building to explore, with its displays of a bygone age, regardless of the little paranormal activity occurring on our night here.